uh, from Yasmin in Spain. Thank you, Marco, again for the I'm Very Rich. Still nothing in your bio. Put something in your bio. Amy, thank you very much for the I'm Very Rich. Could I get a VM? Finally, meeting you guys at both Birmingham dates. Love you. Love you too, Amy. We'll see you at both Birmingham dates. Yeah, guys, you can still get your tour tickets from the link in our Instagram bio. Our Instagram is Road Trip TV. Um, so if you want to go there, get yourself uh, some tickets, and we'll see you there. It's going to be fun, yo. Tiggy misses you, Missy too, Tiggy. My Tiggy girl, Tiggy Woodsy, Tiggy Woodsy. Guys, we've got a thousand people up in here. I will uh, talk to you guys about quite a few bits. So keep sharing it. Share it, share it, share it, share it. Rise one and only, thank you very much for the very Rich. I flew 7,700 miles this year to see you. See you in London too, VIP. You are insane. Thank you very much, lovely. We will see you there. Look forward to it. Yeah! Mm -hmm. So happy birthday to a mystery that was. Guys, the comments just go so ridiculously fast. Becky Jeff Jarrett, thank you very much for having me, Rich. Can I get a VM for my friends? Moa, Malin, Charlie, Lucy, Chloe, Katie, and Tiggy. What's up, guys? We love all of you. Hopefully, we'll see every single one of you on a tour date. Come as like a little party. Make yourself a little superhero club. 25, Maine, USA. Thank you very much, Ali Briggs. Love you too, Ali. Happy birthday to Jen. Happy birthday, Jen. Bucky J for Drow. Uh, yeah. Oh. Do you like something? Don't know what you said. What do I like? What do I like? Amy, thank you very much, Amy. If I'm very rich, appreciate you. Bought your membership earlier. Post it on Roadies Trip TV. Love you loads. Thank you very much, gorgeous. We love you too. Yeah, I'll be talking about the membership in just a second, guys. But keep inviting more people up in here. And then we'll explain all of that with you. Because I think quite a lot of people are very confused. So it's good to make sure no one's confused. M. Foressa, thank you very much. Don't be rich. Gosh dang it, right? P.S. Don't shave for tour, you handsome lad. Now I'm going to shave it all off. All of it's coming straight off. Just zzz, no more hair. Bold. I can't wait to be bold. Thank you, Fobs. Thank you, Aston Vlogs. Thank you, Beth Cook. Thank you, Rody Jess. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Kaylee. Ow, my nose hurts. I don't know why, though. That really hurts. Marco, thank you very much again, but put something in your bio. Marco, 87752. Put something in your bio so I can interact with you. Ryan, can you read it? He hug a bugger. Don't know what you said. Mm, will you marry Phoebe? Phoebe, will you marry Phoebe? Yes. Hello, Phoebe. How you doing, Phoebe? I'm right. You're Phoebe. Together. Our oh, ship name is weird. It's either Phi or Rebe. Hmm. Mrs. W all right, thank you very much, Never Rich. Check out my three most recent posts in the middle post on my Mrs. Wyatt. And send a VM, please. Love you. Love you too, Mrs. Wyatt. Obviously, I've only got one phone right now, so I can't quite do that. Um... Balls. Balls. It's all balls. <laughs> Beth Kirk. Zan Marie. Beth Kirk. Thank you guys for all the love. Rody Jess. Hannah Louise, Zoe Brown. Thank you for sharing, guys. Thank you for sharing. Invite more people in. Everyone share, 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 share. Share it, share it. Share the live stream. Just share the live stream. Thank you, Faye. Thank you, Beth. Thank you, Sarah Beaumont. Thank you, Faye Connolloy. Thank you, Darvi, Cordy Lee. Duh, it's Mikey, Ellie Dixon. Um, How they go so fast? Scott Tripp. Thank you. Pippi. Pippi. That's a cool name. Thank you guys for sharing. Thank you, Rise One Only, very rich. Thank you. Please watch my two faces edits. Rise One Only. Miss you in DMs. It's Libidish. It's Libidish. Yeah, guys. Rise One and Only. It says Rise underscore one underscore and underscore only. It does insane, insane um, edits on Instagram. Like they're mad. She puts two, like any two faces together and looks like a hybrid of the same of a human. It's really strange, um, but very cool. 
Um, Kaylee Dunn, thank you very much. Megan, thank you. Thank you guys for all the love this evening. Appreciate all of you. I hope you've enjoyed your Sunday. A good Sunday. I like a Sunday. Something about Sunday. Don't know what it is. Still no rest for the weary, though. Do you know what I mean? A lot of people just chill out on their Sundays. I was up at, like, 7.30 this morning. Working away. Thank you, Abby. For the number rich. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you, Beth Cook. Thank you, Lonely. Thank you, Corey. Thank you, Rody. Thank you, everyone. For sharing the live stream. <clears throat> thank you, Katie. Thank you, Brody Jazz. Hannah Connolly. But yeah, thank you, guys. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, everyone, for sharing the live stream. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being active. Appreciate all of you. Uh, I'm still going to wait for a few more people to be in, though, so I'm going to read some comments right now. Uh, Vim for Adorai. Hi, Adorai. Love you. Hope you're having a good Sunday. See you in Bristol. See you in Bristol. I look forward to Bristol. Um, Aston Vlogs. What's up, Aston Vlogs? Thank you, Becky Jeva Drow. Please check. It's Tiggy UK DMs. It's important. I can right now, but I will after. I'll be in DMs. Thank you, Sarah Beaumont. Thank you, Becca Clark. Thank you, Rye Pie. <laughs> Rye Pie is funny. Rye Pie. Mum always used to call me Rye Pie. It was a little just annoying me, I think. Work there. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. White. Feel very rich. Can I please have a VM for my best friend, Diamond Rye XX? She means the world to me. Ah, oh, hello, Diamond Rye XX. Mrs. White sent me your way. I love you, as did she. And hopefully we'll see you on tour. Um, but yeah, guys. So... One, I hope you all enjoy the Billie Eilish evolution. That took a lot. I was like two, three solid days in the studio. Um, just try to work on different ideas and stuff. And then it was like four different days of filming. It was a lot to film that video. Um, but hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's fun, 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 fun. Um, if you didn't, then let us know, and I will continue not to care. Um, but if you did enjoy it, thank you very much. Um, it was fun doing that one. It's just long. It's one of those ones. It's like really long, but like when it's all done, you're like, oh, so worth the effort. Um, but it's all for you guys, and I hope you felt entertained. Um, and then tour, 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 tour. If you guys haven't got your tickets to tour yet, make sure you get your tickets to tour and dress up as superheroes. Because it's going to be sick. You need everyone looking like superheroes. Um, so go to our Instagram bio. Our Instagram is at TV. Go to our bio and get your tour ticket links. And we'll see you there. And then the other one, Road Trip Join Button, is now on our vlogs channel. <laughs> this is a thing we've been thinking about for a very long time. Um, and we just wanted to wait till the time was right. Ow. Um... We wanted to assess... The call me roadie, mate. Thank you very much for the I'm very rich. I'll call me roadie, mate. Self-taught artist. Purpose being... Bring happiness. Love that. Very cool. Thank you for the account. Thank you for the love. And you keep spreading spreading the love. Spreading the love. Um, but yeah. So, the join button, what it is, is it's just going to be... It's going to be mostly the day in the life stuff on there, which, as you guys know, is a very new thing we've started doing. Um... And we just wanted to put it in like an... Ex Thank you, Cassie Dale, for that rich. Sorry, I missed your thing. Um, but that is pretty much the only thing that will be in there that you guys won't see anywhere else, really. Um, because, guys, we give you a lot of content. Like, a lot of content. Like, more than any other artist. I dare you to find another artist that gives you more content or just another entity or community that is spreading, like a lot of content and trying to entertain as much as possible and like keep everyone happy and communicate with you guys and try and build like a cool community. There's no one doing it the way we, we're doing it. Um, and the other people who are doing it aren't even the ones doing it. Like remember a lot of these other bands and artists and people out there and stuff are comparables. If you like, they've got these massive teams and companies and organizations who like pay for all their stuff and like pretty much do everything for them. Um, like we just don't have that. It is literally us five, Robbie, Alex, Connor. Like that is who generates everything we do and orchestrate everything we do on a daily basis that you guys see. Like that is it. No one's helping us. There's no big company doing stuff for us. 
Um, and we've done as much as we can for a very long time. And it's been extraordinarily hard. Um, I don't know if you guys will be able to appreciate like, how hard it actually is to do this. It's so hard that we are the only band to have ever done it. We are the only band of our kind. The only one to not have a big company or organisation essentially pay the way to success. Um, we don't have that. We've done it all between an us and you teamwork. Um, and to do and to do that for such a long time, um, you know, eventually there's a breaking point. Eventually there's like a, you know, we need extra help to do to, to continue to grow because we want to be an arena selling international artist and we want to come and see you guys everywhere. We want to do all that stuff. We just like, that's the limit. Like we can make all this content. We can like do studio sessions and we can like do what we're doing right now. But if we want to go further, if we want to come to Europe, again, reasons we haven't come to Europe are ex exactly because of this. We've always said it's tricky, it's complicated, but really what it is is we don't have a company or like some big entity that supports us. We just don't. It is literally just us and that's it. That is all it is. There is no facade or illusion. We've always been very open that it's this is us independently. That's what I mean. Other bands who tell you, oh, it's, it's all us guys, we do it for you because we love you. It's actually because they've got a massive team behind them who just do everything for them. And we don't have any of that. Um, and it's always been one of the things we've been most proud of is that it's literally us and you and it's organic and it's how it should be. Because if you can't do, if you can't at least do most of it yourselves and then get the help you need when the time is right, then you're not really a band. Like you're not really an entity. You're just like a fake product in my eyes anyway. But hey, I have strong opinions, but it's not really opinion because you know all the stats kind of like match up to it. So, but um, this extra join button, this extra feature, it's just a way of supporting the band um, and supporting everything we're trying to do. But you don't have to do it, guys. Don't do it if if you do, if you don't want to do it. You won't miss out on anything really because we're already like nothing's going to change with what we already release. Like behind the scenes videos, yeah, they're still coming out on YouTube vlogs. Um, music videos that still come out YouTube vlogs everything we do on Instagram TikTok live streams for, like everything we do is still going to be there but we're just adding adding this new layer now thank you Tracy for the Amber Ridge um, uh, thank you for joining on the vlog channel um, but we're now just adding this new thing which is again it's like hundreds of hours of work that we're going to have to put into it um, to like make it work and we already do thousands of hours everywhere else um like every day we work it's like you know up early morning bed late at night like that that is like what we do traveling everywhere all the time doing as much as we can because there's no one helping us and this is a way for us to try and give you value to try and give you as much more entertainment as we can and for you guys to help us as well but it's an option you don't have to do it guys you don't have to and it doesn't really affect you if you do or don't because you're still going to see all the other content that you've already that you already see um and we've still got plans to do more and more content on the on the vlog channel. It's just anyone who wants to come become a part of the membership club, which we really appreciate. Thank you very much. Um, we'll just be able to help us get to that goal that we want to get to even quicker um, and be able to provide like even more value for you and be able to come see you guys in more places and do bigger, better music videos and branch out more. And it's just all about helping each other. We, we knew from day one we wanted to build a community and... Um, I feel like we've done a very good job of doing that. Um, and this is like the VIP club in the community, if you like. And it doesn't matter if you're in it or not. Like, I've been to clubs. I've been to discos and all those kind of places. There's always a VIP section. And you know what? I don't really care if I'm in it or if I'm not in it. It doesn't bother me. I'm still enjoying the music. I'm still having a good time with all my mates and stuff. And that's kind of how you can see this. And be a part of the VIP club and just get an extra extra few bits of content on the weekly basis a bit more of like a, a deeper look at our daily lives and then there'll be uh, what we mean by off cuts and like behind the scenes footage is like things that just don't quite make the vlog channel uh, or just like stuff that doesn't make con make any sense being in context with other things like we have like hard drives and hard drives and hard drives of footage that we've just never released because it never made sense to put it in anything so you kind of just forget about it and you go oh we'll do that next week or something. and it just builds up and builds up whereas this way it's like okay we'll just stick all that stuff on there for everyone just to see random bits um so there'll be loads of that on there but it doesn't mean there's not going to still be the full feature length videos on our like behind, like vlogs on our channel that everyone can see 
Um, like we've got a big video coming out this week that took us a while to work on. Um, and that's that everyone will be able to see it. Like that is nothing's changed. So everyone who's confused about like thinking that now they have to pay for content, don't be because it's not that confusing. It's literally you get everything still. Everything's still there. It's just there's this extra layer of stuff that if you want to help us to try and like create more content and do even better stuff, then wicked. Thank you very much. But you don't have to. It's the choice. The same way when I go to the supermarket, I can get and get some milk. I can get some yogurts. And milk. Milk's pretty useful. Yogurts. They're a bit of a luxury. If I feel like getting those yogurts, I will. But I don't have to get those yogurts. I can be just as satisfied by milk. So guys, if you want to get the yogurts, thank you. But you don't have to. It is your choice. It is your choice, guys. Um, but yeah, we will be doing everything we can um, to try and... Uh, Think of loads of cool new ideas and um, do more and more on there. We've got loads of day in the lives backed up that we want to that will that'll be coming out on the join membership uh, community tab for a while. Uh, but yeah, ask me any questions, guys. Ask me stuff. What do you think? What do you want to know? Who's still confused? Can't speak for the whole fandom, but I see how hard you guys try. And massive thanks for that. Thank you, M. Dot Professor. Thank you very much. Um, and. It's only it's only for you guys and because of you guys as well. It's like if you guys weren't there then obviously there's no point in us doing our stuff. Um, like, it just it wouldn't work. Um, and, and we're trying to entertain you. So it's all for you, but it's because of you, if that makes sense. Um, speak Spanish. Hola, Tracy, está bien? Um, <laughs> but that's, that's always been the way it is. And for us to give more and more and more and not have these big companies just, like, funding everything we do and, like, making this artificial band that you could, that any normal person could just see straight through. Like, to me, that's not cool. It's not cool. And there's loads of artists out there like it. There's loads of bands, loads of musicians and stuff. And I'm not trying to, you know, squash people in the industry, um, but that's just the nature of it. That's what, that's what they are. They just are fed, like, with a silver spoon from day one. Um, and it's hard for bands like us to just watch that happen because they just get fed and then get successful. But what's great now is that Instagram, YouTube, and all these channels, they've started to change all their algorithms and change the way they distribute content. And that means that you can't just pay your way to success anymore. You now have to work hard, create interesting content, give back to your community, and offer value to everyone and help and entertain like for real, not just like bully your way through. Um, and that's something we've always been about. We've always been about like giving you guys entertainment and trying to help out and like being like connect and connecting with you guys um, and stuff like that. So I'm very happy with where we're at and like couldn't be more humbled to have all of you guys here with us. So thank you very much for being on the journey and we'll see what happens. Um, you know, no one knows what's happening in the future. You got to kind of live day by day sometimes. It's one of those things we just got to live day by day. Um, but it's very, very tricky and it's very, very hard. And we don't have that extra support. The only support we have is us and you. That is it. That's all it's ever been. Um, maybe one day that'll change. But right now, that's how it is. So thank you very much if you're there to support us. Appreciate you. And if you're not, it's up to you. Rise one only. Thank you very much for the I'm very rich. I joined because I hope that you can finally come to Austria. I'll always support you. Thank you, gorgeous. Yes, we'd love to come to Austria. I really desperately so badly want to do a Europe tour. Um, and we will. Uh, it's just need to figure out how to do it. Again, hard to do. Tracy Wills, thank you very much. I'm very rich. Do you still have your amazing body? <laughs> um, I don't know what you mean by that, Tracy. Don't flatter me. Um, but yeah, go on, guys. Ask me stuff. Ask me stuff. What do you want to know? Do, 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 do. Thank you, Drawing Road Trip 03. Thank you very much for the I'm Very Rich. Um, sorry, I just got a long message. Can I have, do you like Zane? Yes. Yes, he's got some sick music. I think he, one of his music videos called um, Still Got Time with Party Next Door is actually a really underrated video. It's actually a really good video. Um, it's a good video. 
Elise Capatastista, VM4. Maria, it's her birthday, and she would die if you wished her happy birthday. Maria, happy birthday. Who we here is a bunch of our here at Road Trip. We love you, and we hope to see you soon. M. Fresh, thank you very much for having Rich. I don't have a library card, but can I still check you out? <laughs> you could have done that with Tesco's as well. It's a good joke, though. I like that joke for us. So thank you. Uh, will there still be... Uh, I don't know what you said. Uh, Tracy Wills, thank you very much for Rich. Who would you say is the biggest <laughs> Tracy? I'm answering that's very, very rude. Um, are you excited for Dublin? Yes, I haven't been back to Dublin for a while, so it's good that we're coming back. Get to see you guys over there. You're all mental. Um, can't wait to see your mental faces. Uh, Shannon loves Ryan. Love you too, Shannon. 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 Uh, cover circles. Wink if Randy's real. What? Catherine Rose. Hi, Ryan. Please, can I have a VM? Love you. Love you too, Catherine. And uh, you've always been amazing to us. Always see you active. Thank you very much. And we hope to see you soon. Oh, the comments go so fast. My eyes are like, oh, I need my glasses. My glasses are not here right now. Oh, my eyes are like, if I look at something still, they're like going, whoa. Uh, whoa. Have you seen Mikey lately? No, Mikey's been away. I do mess your Instagram, though. Just some funny stories. Um, um, not for us, I thank you very much for that, My love is for you. It's like diarrhea. I just can't hold it back. That's, that's disgusting. Hello. Someone just said their love for us is like diarrhea. Is that weird smell again? Yeah. Anyway. I can't the, smell it. You know the light bulb LED strip? Yeah. You got any idea what that is? What light bulb LED strip? The, as in the one that goes around the room? No, you remember in my reading corner in the old place? The bulbs? Yeah. Oh, like... We used them in the back of the sofa covers. Yeah. And then we used them in the back of Justin Bieber part two. Are they in the studio room? No, it's just fairy lights. That's what I thought. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure Alex and Connor had them. But that's the last time I remember seeing them because they used them for something. Yeah. Oh, could they still be in the attic, maybe? For Billy. Are they in the attic for Billy? Maybe. I know Alex put quite a few lights up there. I will go and have a look. Thank you. If not, I reckon maybe they just... Don't get scared in the dark, though. I'll try. No, no, don't. Don't. He's such a rebel, guys. Can you come to Germany? Yes! We'd love to come to Germany. So bad. And again, the join button hopefully will help us get to Germany. I look forward to doing it. Um, also, some fun facts for you guys as well. YouTube's changing the way that they distribute videos. They've done it over for a while. Like, it used to be really easy to trend and to have viral videos. Like, really, really easy. And uh, then they added in... Um, they split up all the traffic into, like, music trending like TV trending and then like all that kind of stuff. Um, and like lifestyle trends, and films, they split it all up. So now it's way harder to get big views on videos. And then they're about to do something again. That essentially means if you pay for ads, you'll never trend. Um, and we've never used ads ever on YouTube, but I'm excited to see what happens to the industry now that it will almost be impossible to trend for most artists, except people like us. Ah. If you just put out good content, you put energy and effort into content, you'll get, you'll do well on YouTube and you'll entertain, because you're entertaining people, you're actually giving them good entertainment. If you don't, you just want to pay your way up there, YouTube is now going, nope, nope, not going to happen. If you try and clickbait videos, nope, it's all just going, it's all going down. And I'm excited to see how the next few years play out on uh, online. I think it's just going to, we're only going to be... I think anyone who doesn't have like a direct talent or like offering a lot of value in a big way, they're all going to disappear because the internet's just not going to support them anymore um, because the algorithms have changed. So it means we're going to be left with good creators, good value giving, entertaining creators and educators. And I love that. Thank you, the world, for bringing order full circle. Thank you, Nicole, for the average. Or does the mind
Yeah, we love you too, Nicole. Mm. Tracy, <laughs> Tracy, stop it. I grew up in Spain. That's how. Grew up in España. Describe Andy in three words. A small man. Sorry, Andy. Um. Yo, this is a story all about how my life got flipped turned upside down. Guys, if you're worried about the cost of the join button, then don't get it. Please don't get it. Don't do that to yourselves, guys. You don't need to, you don't need to have it. You don't need to have it. Um, we're still going to be releasing so much content, like so much stuff, and more than ever before. Um, you don't need to have the join button. Um, so don't stress yourselves. Don't stress yourselves. Melissa, thank you very much. I'm very rich. Can't realise the hate. It's not... Can't relate. Can't relate the hate. It's not unfair. I want to see you. So I joined. Easy. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you very much, gorgeous. Appreciate you. Thank you. Becky J. Vidral. Please check my sixth post on Insta. Yes, I can't right now because I gives my phone a live stream. Yeah, I mean... I, I, we knew, like, putting this out. I was like... Obviously, people are going to be very confused and people are going to be very upset. Like, that's just what happens. Like, to be fair, though, that happens to us when we put up, like, an Instagram story um, that might have, like, someone's hair brushing it or something. <laughs> so we did know that there was going to be a bit of controversy about this. Um, but I'm hoping everyone can kind of understand, like, why that is the case. Thank you, Michelle. Caban. Can you say happy birthday, Rye? She turns Ryle. She turns 18 today. It's a surprise. Happy birthday, gorgeous. 18, big number. Can drive now. Um, yeah, I'm hoping you guys who can sort of understand um, why it's something we've done um, are okay with it. And I appreciate every single one of you who are. Um, and those of you who don't quite understand it, I'm sure you will understand um, very soon. Because I guess it is kind of weird. Um, but that is where YouTube's going. YouTube, YouTube is a company that has to make money. That's what YouTube is. And they started off as a free platform. They were free. And everyone could just go viral on there. Some kid bit some other kid's finger. And it was one of the biggest viewed videos of that year. Because it was just this free platform. The internet was a new thing. And um, like the algorithms weren't tamed yet. They didn't know how to monetize it properly yet. It was all just new. And that's what YouTube was. And then you progress a few years and they start to add monetizable features in there. They start to add security breaches in there and policies and all this other stuff. And it just became ever so slightly harder to trend on there and to get big viral videos and stuff like that. Um, and that's the nature with anything, with any kind of company. But YouTube is a company and that's what they've done. Um, and they've continued to do that and continue to refine all of their search algorithms, the way they distribute content, the way they analyze content, like copyrights, like every single thing we've ever put on our YouTube channel, on our main YouTube channel, Rojip TV, is all copyright claimed. Every single one of them, even though we create their own music and then spend all the time, money and effort, like creating all of our own tracks in the studio, hours and hours and hours, loads of stuff. And then the music videos and the costings of those things and like all that time and energy. And YouTube just one day went, oh, actually, no, we're going to copyright that stuff. And we were like, huh? <laughs> and that was just before we actually started posting music videos. Um, so no one can ever make money off stuff like that. And no one, which for a creator, you need to be able to survive. Um, and YouTube just went, nope. Not you guys, not you musicians, not going to let you do that. But what can we do? Like, that is how it works. Like, that's just how the world is. It's what YouTube is. It's what they, they, they're a company and they don't care about, like, you know, like how someone, like, in particular, decides to run their affairs and their band. Um, they're just doing what's right for their company, what's right for the big majority. And it just happened to not work well, very well for us. So to find all these other things to do and like help us survive and stay afloat. Literally, the first three years of this band was survival at its finest. Pure survival. Like just about had noodles and toast. <laughs> like that's survival. Um, and then uh, and it's still survival now. Like we're still like surviving because we're trying to scale everything up and... And like get bigger and entertain you guys in bigger and bigger ways and come see more of you guys and 
and to do that it's harder and harder and harder and youtube still pretty much does nothing for us until they added this option of a join button um and it's a great thing for a load of artists and a load of people out there help in a massive way for people trying to entertain the same way you pay for a netflix account the same way you pay for amazon prime account i'm not comparing us to those things but there's a different you know emotive reason why people would pay for a join button and a netflix button netflix can afford it because they make all their money in many different ways than just memberships from ads and producers and production companies and like in and like setting an infrastructure a marketing infrastructure that makes money from loads of different ways so they can easily go yeah 999 that's fine that's a that's, that doesn't really affect us that much that's easy um whereas like for us we don't have any of that other stuff like nothing um we have a very f- small few amount of things and this is just that one thing that can super super help us do more stuff and like i said before we don't have big companies pumping millions into us and a load of these other bands do that's why they've gotten big because they they don't have an interesting story you, you don't see them like fly in the streets or doing that mad stuff that we've done over the last few years like living rough in a council flat like we had to do so much stuff to get to where we are now we're gonna have to continue to do so much stuff like add a join button fly the streets add a join button like it's all the same thing for us because it's like you know we're hustling and we're trying to do as much as we can for you guys and see what you think of it and then we change and then we do other stuff and we like constantly try and do whatever makes you guys happy that is our goal as our purpose otherwise what's the point in entertaining and being a band what is the point there isn't one um, and we're very aware of that. But some of these other bands, they really don't care because they've got someone else just doing everything for them. And I think the older you get, the more you start to realise that stuff. And especially if you're in the music industry for a long time, you really start to understand how it all works. And we pride ourselves on being independent. And I think this is a a beautiful way for us to be able to help each other out. But it's an option. It's the choice. You don't have to support Road Trip. You can support other bands. There's other great artists out there. Um cracking artists um picture this wicked wicked band love picture this home sweet home who are you closest with in the band everyone well i guess right now andy because me our rooms are next to each other so if i'm being technical that's my answer Road Trip fan, thank you very much, Marco. Thank you. Te quiero, right? Te quiero mucho. But yeah, guys, I don't really talk about this kind of stuff normally because I don't want to like alienate you, and I don't want to have you to th- like. I don't want to confuse you guys because um, I want to be an entertainer for you. That's what I want to be. I want to be myself. But I want to be an entertainer. This sort of stuff I don't normally talk about. It's more of a behind the scenes thing. Um, but I want to always be honest with you. I'm like want to be real. That's the one thing that we've got that no other artists have because they don't have any element of real. Like, we we have a reel to provide, so we like to keep it real with you guys. Like, these other bands and stuff, they can't say that because it's not their truth. It's not real for them. Whereas for us, it's real. And there's nothing wrong with saying the truth because truth is like karma. And it's good karma if you're truthful, bad karma if you lie. And this is our good karma. And one day, it could come back around. Um, but yeah. I won't talk any more on it now, but it's a choice, guys. It's a choice. And we hope to continue to entertain you. That is our goal. I love every single one of you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Um, Jay! Tell us about you and... (laughs) Well, and I spoke about that before as well, guys. That's not my choice. That's not me. That's not not to do with my truth. Um, Same with all the other boys. Like, you're, you're then talking about someone else who is affected by by me that's not my choice and i'm not going to make that choice for someone else that would be selfish um and i don't pride myself on being a selfish person so i won't do that um unless i had consent you know then it's kind of different but i don't um and i don't want to confuse anyone so i'm not going to do that but you know one day everything is going to be too hard to maintain secrets keeping secrets isn't lying can we just hold that there. Like, keeping secrets isn't lying. Because if you're keeping secrets to protect other people, like, every single one of you does it. Every single one of you watching this and everyone you know keeps secrets to protect other people. Everyone does. 
ours just happen to be exposed because we've got people digging into our lives every day. Um, but it's the same as anyone else. Uh, and the kind of secrets we have to keep are slightly different because the way you guys react to them is slightly different to normal lives. Um, so that all kind of makes sense. But if, if it's ever about me, I will tell you everything. That's just what I, what I do. Unless I think it could hurt someone, then I won't. Hey, lifting a butt up under the sea, SpongeBob SquarePants. Double, Dublin VIP, yes, see you there. Dublin. Hi, how are you, May? Hi, May, I'm good, how are you? Dublin. Lisa and Dylan. It's usually Andy's parts. Well, actually, behind the scenes, I'm the one that normally does all the kind of talking and, like, all the orchestrations and, you know, the finer details um, for what we need to do. I just don't come across that way online because it's not the kind of person that's entertaining for you. Um, one day, yeah, one day I'm down to be that person online. But right now, I'm an entertainer, I'm a singer in a band, and that's all you guys need to know. And one day you'll kind of understand... Um, what actually goes on behind the scenes. But um, being methodical and being philosophical and being tempered in the way I make decisions in life is something, is a, a gift I believe I was given from a young age. Um, and it's something I continue to do today, but I choose not to try and advocate it online because I don't want to rub that in people's faces. Um, so I'm just, you know, keep myself composed entertainer that's meant to be my job description so if i'm not doing that then i'm not doing my job so you kind of you see one side of see one side of us and in this case see one side of me but you don't see all of this stuff underneath um because it just doesn't quite make sense and that's not contradictive to what i said earlier about like lying or keeping secrets that's just like why would i show you guys that stuff I wouldn't think you're interested in that kind of stuff. If you are, happy to show you more of it. Because that's what I love in life. Um, yeah. Um, but if not, then entertainer, singer first. All the other kind of stuff, I'll keep to myself. Should I remix Dynamite? Yes, please do remix Dynamite. I'd happily see that. That'd be quite cool. Home sweet home. Right, I should run for Prime Minister, huh? I was always told that growing up. I should run for President or Prime Minister. Which is your fave ship in the... Bleh. You're coming to my school October 1st. I'm mental, mate. Mate, I'm mental. I'll see you there, Abs. You just wait. Electra Rye, just a quick hello to say how much I love you. Can I have a VM, please? Love you too, Electra Rye. Thank you very much for being here. Hello, it's Alana. I love you too. Thank you for being here. Hey, you. Can I have a VM? Also, come in DMs later. Yes, Alana. I did see your DMs earlier, actually. Um, I was in a mad rush, but I will reply to some. I am definitely interested. Definitely interested. We are. I mean, if you guys are interested, I will I will happily share a lot of my thoughts. With you. It, my life kind of goes like, well, my thought processes kind of go like, I can't rest. Like, I have a brain that doesn't stop. Like, it just continually does things. And like, business is like one of my first passions. And I'm always thinking about like, economic things and like, um, like the mechanics of certain situations, whether it's like, friendships, organizations, businesses, marketing, the band my other endeavors, like hobbies, anything I love, my brain just can't stop going. I'm like going a thousand miles an hour all the time and the boys will like vouch for me that I just keep going and doing stuff. That is just how I've always been, it's how I am now. Um, like from what you guys see, I'm like 5% banned, but 95% other things that you guys don't really see. But only because I don't think, I didn't, wouldn't have thought that you guys would want to see that stuff. But if you guys want to see more of it, then happily will, happily share some more thoughts with you. Uh, every now and then I've shared a few thoughts, but I've always been like, mm, they might not really want to hear that. Um, but I'm happy to do that. And one day when the band's, you know, when we move on beyond the band, which may or may not happen, um, then that's something I'm definitely going to go into. Because I think I can help in a massive way. Like I help quite a lot of people in my personal life with uh, things like that. 
with uh, certain important decisions that need to be made. Um, and I'd love to be able to help the masses in a bigger way with that kind of stuff. But, um, you know, being an entertainer is also helping as well. It helps fill a void for people, help distract people, a bit of escape, offer a bit of escapism, which I do value. I think that's a good thing. I think being a fan of a band is better escapism than going out drinking all the time, you know? So if we can provide that extra opportunity for people, then I think that holds a lot of merit. And I'm quite proud to, to do it. We need a series called, who say? Rye Rants. <laughs> uh, Rye Rants would be funny. Um, hmm. I actually thought of doing it for a while on my Instagram. I was thinking of just putting up like random long talks or thoughts about stuff. Like, I have so many mad thoughts, like just ridiculous mad thoughts. Um, like not like just uh, every hour I'll think of something else and I'm just like oh wow and then like a lot of the time I'll go and do it as well I'll go and do these kind of things I'm thinking of this is why I'm pretty much constantly busy doing stuff traveling places and all that because I'm just always doing stuff so I love doing stuff and I'm a workaholic as well take after my dad um he works like 24 hours a day 24 7 always has and so have I love it I just love progressing and exploring life and doing interesting stuff. Like, never want to just sit around and watch films and Netflix or do nothing. I just think it's the most boring, sad existence ever. Uh, I want to get out there and do stuff in the world. And uh, that's the only way I know how. Hey, hey, Oh, it's Camilla said gay. All right. Thank you for your contribution to this conversation. Billy Evolution was sick. Thank you. Thank you for admiring it. Appreciate you. Courtney. Hello, Courtney. Thank you for the number, Rich. Hey, Squid. Please, can I get a VM, Rise Mush? Yes, of course. Rise Mush. Well, do you know what? I'll DM you after because I've got you in DMs. See you at school. See you there. Say hi, Eva. Hi, Eva. Is your daughter? <laughs> My daughter. Rise of Twink. What's up, Noah? We would love to hear more of your thoughts and conspiracy theories. I don't do conspiracy theories. Um, that is not something I'm into. Um, I think... Um, I think conspiracy theories promote propaganda, which then promotes ill-informed, poorly made decisions um, that waste everyone's time. So I'm not a conspiracy kind of person. I'm a... I've always said I base all of my thoughts, opinions, but really I based all of my insights on factual evidence, uh, which you would call empirical evidence. If it's not measurable or testable, then to me, it means nothing. Um, unless it's social-based, because that's more of a... That's more of a tricky topic. That's more of a philosophical... Um, slash theologian debate that I'm not as well educated in but I still have a strong understanding of those topics so I um, but, I, but to a point I don't do conspiracy theories I think they're a load of rubbish still interesting but the reason the conspiracy theories are conspiracy theories is because you're conspiracizing over a lack of evidence for, to support any claim any given claim so things that are big enough events to be conspiracy theories that don't have that evidence to support it is really just proof in itself that whatever it's talking about is most likely rubbish or a very well kept secret but like secrets are really hard to keep especially on a big level for, for them to be big enough to be spoken about as conspiracy theories it means there's going to be enough moles if you like somewhere down the food chain that has let out the real evidence and if they haven't that's because there was no real evidence, and that's how it ended up being a conspiracy theory and not a factual thing. They got figured out. But it's not always that simple. Sometimes there are certain things that require more digging, like unsolved cases and stuff, and they can be interesting. But some of these conspiracy theories, are like aliens, and it's just ridiculous. Like, aliens. Um, not to say that aliens don't exist. I'm, I'm a big believer that aliens do exist. Not necessarily in an intelligent form, but as some sort of microbial life form out there, I do believe they exist. But... For them to have come to the planet as an intelligent species and then, like, spoken to people or, like, abducted people and then be hidden actually opens up many different arguments. There's one called the Fermi Paradox, 
that kind of refutes those sorts of claims on a deeper cosmological level, which is still interesting. Uh, I am going on a rant now, and I'm aware of it, but this is an interesting thought. Um, and the other one is, if aliens came, I'm just sorry, but people would have seen it. There would be video evidence. Like It would have just been so profound that everyone knew. Or maybe the aliens are so clever that they managed to shut off all those kinds of things because they're f- like far superior to us. And that is also a possibility, which would make sense. But really, like... If they could do that, then it's pointless imagining that they exist anyway, right? Because if they were that far beyond us, then there's nothing we can do to stop them. So just accept that they're most likely not there because it doesn't affect us either way. Until our instruments are powerful enough to be able to detect them and measure them and then maybe communicate with them and confront them, it really doesn't matter. That's why I think, again, alien conspiracy, waste of time because you can't do anything about it. So just leave it. Global warming, however, that's not a conspiracy. Global warming is a factual thing, and it's something everyone should get on top of. And I shared a story today, very interesting girl that I followed for a while, um, shared a video, <sighs> super powerful, inspiring human being, um, uh, and other people, the likes of Bill Gates, Elon Musk, and many other people looking out for the world's best interests. Um, because global warming is not a conspiracy theory. It's mad that some people think it is. Uh, it's something we can all do something about. Stop eating beef. That's one of them. If you stop eating beef, the amount you can help contribute to the effects of global warming is enormous. Um, so beef's one of them. There's other things as well, like petrol and things like that. But beef. If everyone wants to help with global warming, stop eating beef. Like, start there. See if you can do that. And then we'll, we'll talk later about more stuff. I'm sure there are some vegetarians or vegans in here who do that already. If so, well done you for doing your part. Say hi, Amy, please. Hi, Amy. Say hi, Ellie. Hi, Ellie. Do you smoke? No. I'm not really, uh... Never been interested in the idea of cigarettes. I just think it's dumb. Mrs. Wyatt. Thank you very much. I did miss it. What did you get in your GCSEs? Wouldn't you like to know? See, to me, GCSEs, they're not a, um... Like, go like all the way through school, I knew what I wanted to do outside of school. I wanted to work for myself. Like, that's something I always knew. So that completely invalidated the idea of getting good GCSE results. I never was interested in it. However, I did get 13 GCSEs. Um, but I never revised for one of them. Like, one thing. I left school as quick as I could. I actually got kicked out of school. Got kicked out of two schools. I got suspended, like, all the time. And, like, detentions all the time and stuff like that. But to me, my goal in school, this is how I measure success, right? My goal in school was to have a good time with my friends. And learn about things that were inspiring to me and that I chose to learn about. Because I knew that's what I was going to do for the rest of my life anyway. I had a very strong, self-aware presence. Well, self-aware... Sorry, there was something strange on my screen. I had a very strong um, self-awareness of who I was. And I knew I was always going to work for myself. What is that? turning off my TV, um, for who I was. Um, so to me, the idea of getting good GCSEs and stuff, I genuinely, I couldn't have cared less. Just couldn't have cared less. And I still got good GCSEs as well. I got some, some exceptional GCSEs. In DT, I got a, uh, an F uh, because I smashed up my project last minute because it was a funny joke. It was funny to do it. And my, all my mates laughed. We had a great time thinking about it. The teacher laughed and he had a great time, but he had to mark me with an F, but he loved it still. And that's how I measured my success in school is what I got out of it for me for what my values were. I wouldn't let someone else tell me what my values should be to then try and adhere to theirs. It never made sense to me. I'm not saying that's right for other people. That's just how I thought school. So that's my long-winded way of answering your question, which is what you were really asking is, were you a smart kid in school? Um, and that's my authentic answer. Because that doesn't matter. Hmm. Come to Brazil, please. Do you know what? I would freaking love to come to South America. It's annoying that we haven't, and we will. We will come to South America. Hey. It's your slime fast to you there. Do you eat beef? I used to eat beef. Uh, very, very rare off occasions I do, but normally I have corn mints. Um, the only time I ever eat beef is someone else makes it for me. Uh, because... Like, if someone else is making it for me, then I just feel kind of rude. Because um, I don't want to be that guy who's like, don't eat beef, blah, blah, blah. I never want to push, like, things on people. But I do think we're kind of at a level now with global warming where we start, we need to start pushing things on people because, you know, we need to start helping ourselves help the planet. 
sort of important. Um, cover from Bollum, Bubba. Bollum. I don't know what that. I don't, no idea. Literally, that's the most. That's the weirdest comment I've ever ever seen. It didn't make any sense, but it looked like you were trying to make sense. It's quite interesting. Sarah loves your eye. Love you too, Sarah. Hi, Natalie. Hello, Natalie. Snuggly Rye, screenshot this, please, and DM Snuggly Rye on personal. You promise loads. Okay, Snuggly Rye, I won't forget. Don't you worry. Rise for thank you for the average. Please check games. Vim for Rubina. Home sweet home. Rise rants needs to be a thing. <laughs> See, well, that's the stuff I love talking about. That is, like, what I love the most. I like talking about real things that are of merit and value to either other people, myself, or the world as a whole. Um, so I would I would so happily do it. Um, I just don't want to come across like a dick. But I don't mean to swear, sorry. Um, but I know other people can be a bit, like, weird when people talk about, like, real matters. They can always think that I've got some other like, inhibition to do it. I don't want to sound like I can come across like a smart ass or anything like that. I'm very aware that that can be an alienating thing. Hi, I'm Sarah Turner. Oh, literally, I went to like hold my phone and clicked off. I'm so sorry, but thank you, Sarah Turner. Um, if you guys want to see it, I'm happy to uh, to chat about more interesting topics with you. Because why wouldn't I want to chat about more interesting topics? Mental, if I didn't. I have a podcast one day where I just want to speak to interesting people. Because I like speaking to interesting people. If people don't interest... If people aren't interesting... Like as in on a, on a real level, if I can't speak to people about like authentic, interesting things, I really struggle to have patience in that in that moment. Like I will very quickly get out of that conversation. Um, it's just part of who I am. I've always been that way. Hi, I'm Sarah Turner. I am. I've just turned twenty years old. Fangirl in way too deep, in way too deep in fandoms. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Band mixtapes. Appreciate you. What's up, Sarah Turner? Big love. Home sweet home. Right, guys, I'm going to jump off because I've got to fly up to Manchester. There's some exciting things happening, so I'm going to fly up there. Uh, I love all of you. Thank you for being here. I hope you've got a better insight into a few different things. Um, and if you guys you know, want me to be a bit more authentic online with those other sorts of side in life, then I will. Um, interesting to stir some, some, some good debates. I'll only be interested in doing it if it creates good debates. Because if it doesn't, I'll be like, mm. but I want to have debates. So, debates, talk about stuff, see if we can help each other. That'd be cool. But thank you. I love all of you. Thank you for being here. Remember, you do not have to get the join button if you don't want to get it or if you can't get it for whatever reason. Please do not feel pressured to get it. Um, like, no one's going to think anything else, like, anything less of you if you don't. Like, that's just ridiculous. Um, if you do if you do get it and if you do want to get it, then thank you very much for getting it. Don't pressure yourself or stress yourself to get it. But thank you, thank you, thank you. And there'll still be loads of content.